Hello, in this video we're looking at an end game build for Stranger of Paradise using the Red Mage as a caster. We are using Chaos Bringer, so this is not available during the first playthrough, but also to reiterate, this is an end game build. And, um, <laughs> no surprise if you've watched the Sage Mage Black Mage videos that we effectively just cloned our gear and changed the top two effects. Um, Although, I don't actually have damage dealt chain spell, if you can believe that. I, I dismantled most of it by mistake, just over time. Anywho, timestamps in the description. Looking at this, we have the Marshal. You could have easily used Crimson Lord or Marshal. Doesn't, at this point, a, as the caster, it will not matter very much for the route we're going. Uh, if, if you're doing this without Chaos Bringer, I recommend Crimson Lord so that you can use Poison with Tyrant 400% as your Phase 2 uh, status ailment, uh, things of that nature, even though you could use another elemental vulnerability. I digress. Let's look at our job affinities here. We have Red Mage just stacked up for the extra intellect, and the main thing that we're benefiting from is the Red Mage 250% reduces the charge time for our spells, just to charge up the full a little quicker. And then we have the Black Mage 800% onward, just giving us extra intellect, as well as the Sage 800% onward, giving us extra intellect. And then on our gear effects, we have... Um, uh, I don't actually want the MP cost chain spell, but I just don't have damage dealt chain spell. But we want damage dealt chain spell, as well as, for now, charge time reduction chain spell, Intellect on every single piece of gear. Remu, because Remu brings out more intellect. But if you don't have Remu, uh, there's other, um, like Shiva or uh, Fenrir, that, that give a good amount of intellect as well. But I'm, I'm using Remu, stacking that up. And then trying to find the, the two highest damage delts that I can get my hands on. We also have Interception on our sword, just as a backup safety precaution in case we get hit we get to uh do that one interception motion if it's a blockable attack it's our safety net to let us know we're one more hit away from death <coughs> pardon me and then um we are using a shield uh, and our shield is having our phoenix that's giving us a safety net in case we die and then we have our damage delts uh, as high as we can get them. I do have status ailment resistance because I don't like getting silenced or paralyzed or petrified. And sometimes I get hit with a rock that doesn't kill me and is enough to silence me for 15 to 30 seconds. So uh, we don't actually, uh, the perpetual effort primary blessing, that's going to change. Don't, don't put that on here for now. I cannot, uh, if that's functioning with chain spells so far, I am not able to pull that off with any consistency but that was an experiment uh, now on our accessory we have the Hermes sandals for sovereign of the skies it's the dragoon 400 percent so that uh, we are getting the extra attack speed which is more cast speed or faster casting animations uh, on your combo abilities or on my combo abilities i did put interception just so i can get that up on the first slot and then i have teleport as one of my main ways to survive, trying to get away from the enemy and get a clear uh, casting range on them. I have Barrage here just to help out with a little bit more damage. I have Lunatic to speed up my uh, casting speed, uh, like the actual animation. And then I'm using Chaos Bringer instead of like regular Light Bringer or Dimension Bringer so that I don't have to worry as much about MP or trying to sustain that. And I'm just focused on uh, my all my MP uh, costs are down to zero. The drawback of this is that if I get killed during it or hit during enemy attack depletes buffs, I am royally screwed. And so the goal is uh, this is why we're a glass cannon, mostly. On our second job, we're using Monk Master for the charge effect uh, or focus. I'm sorry, supercharge. And even though it says break damage dealt, it also increases your HP damage. Uh, the route we're going, even though it's Chaos Bringer, and Chaos Bringer helps with break damage, we're going, our Red Mage is going to be focused on HP damage. 
And so uh, this is how we enhance our HP damage even further with Monk Master charging up to the fourth stage. And uh, in terms of affinities that are helping us out here, uh, our goal here is, uh, this is again, not, not the optimized Chaos Bringer build, but just something to, um, I still haven't changed certain things. This is just something to be able to refresh our max MP on Soul Burst. Because during Chaos Bringer, as of uh, October 27th, you cannot build max MP except through Soul Burst. Uh, that's a January 27 change. Um, why is it always 27? Uh, so uh, that is a change uh, we, that we need to ultimately Soul Burst with our second job. And some things that we have to help out with that are the Summoner 600%, where it increases the potency of your primary summon's blessing. But it's like, wait a minute, Ben. We have Perpetual Leviathan primary blessing, and Leviathan is increases the MP recovery and max MP you get when you Soul Burst the enemy. So that is something that we are absolutely taking advantage of here. Um, oops, sorry, wrong job. And uh, another thing that we're doing here is the, uh, as a minor benefit, not, not major, is the Cyclic Warrior 400%. When you Soul Burst an enemy, your Chaos Bringer duration also increases just a little bit. And that might be just enough to like apply a buff or something if if you're like in this weird spot on on Chaos Bringers. Uh, we have the Paladin 400% because we don't like Silence, Paralysis, and Petrification. We have the Void Knight 120% and 50% so that your Soul Bursts recover even more MP. Uh, and then we have the Red Mage 250% so that our Monk's Focus, we're not, or Supercharge, we're not squatting down as long in order to charge that Focus up. Uh, we have the Samurai 250% because sometimes we just want a damage boost when we do a squat and chain cancel, uh, just pressing the job action before uh, during that squat. Uh, to cha I'm sorry, pressing the change job button during the squat. So that before you finish the animation, you get the little 100% damage boost. Uh, I'm sorry, damage buff uh, on that. And then we're not actually taking advantage of Evoker on this build. Oh, I'm sorry. And then uh, for the world map, we do have uh, chain cancel uh, bonus one and two. So uh, summoner 20 of per uh, 50% and 120%. So that you get max MP whenever you chain cancel and also the gambler 120 percent that you recover a random amount of mp when you chain cancel so uh, those those things are going to try to help us out with all the luck that we have and then on our uh gear effects we have improved effect focus across the board so that our focus does even more damage dealt uh, or boosts that up and then we have improved effect barrage to kind of help out with the extra hit from Mirage and, and try to get more damage out of it and that kind of stuff. Uh, then we have uh, Lightbringer Duration so that your Chaos Bringer lasts longer. We have Buff Duration so that you don't have to refresh your buffs as often. Even though it, uh, Chaos Bringer, your buffs don't cost anything, uh, just not having to reapply it in the middle of battle is very nice. And then we have Soul Burst MP Recovery so that when you do Soul Burst the enemy, that you recover even more max MP. And then for the most part, we have Carbungle across our gear just to squeeze out more luck to help out with the chain cancel, but this really could be a lot of other things. Uh, if you don't have a Leviathan badge, then having one piece of gear dedicated to Leviathan in order to change your primary blessing to Leviathan. Uh, one other thing I have, uh, two, oh, two other things I have on my gear. Uh, I do have luck on my gear instead of Soul Burst MP recovery, so that is a mistake for a Chaos Bringer build because I absolutely want more max MP when I Soul Burst, but I don't. And then I have Charge Time Reduction Focus so that I'm squatting for less and uh, get up and running. On my accessory, I have the Water Prayer or Lump of Pure Envy for the enemy ability Inky Envy. And that is a giant damage boost 
for caster jobs, uh, for, for any job really, uh, that's using an HP damage. Uh, it's a debuff on an enemy. It does not count as a status ailment because, I'm uh, sorry, it's not an accumulated status ailment. So Tyrant 400% does not trigger off of this. And uh, But you do get a damage dealt boost, uh, uh, or, or rather, your, your, your damage is multiplied on a separate bucket thanks to Inky Envy. But we may not always use that. But there, there's going to be times where if, if the game thinks that it's the same boss spawning on the second phase, uh, we, we still might use that. Uh, let's see here. And then looking at our master points, I think this video is already long. <sighs> Darn it. Always long. Uh, master points on Red Mage, we have Intellect. We stacked up Red Mage Job Affinity just for more Intellect. And then we have the highest damage delts we can find, which was the During Lightbringer damage delt. And then uh, the most consistent damage delts we can take advantage of, Ability Damage Delt. And then I just have some damage delt at max break, which does affect you when you have Lightbringer, Dimension Bringer, or Chaos Bringer, even if your break was not full when you activated those abilities. Uh, that is a change as of the third patch, so, I'm sorry, third DLC, so um, that's, that's nice. The Monk Master Points, we have luck for now because we like to do Gambler 120% in world map or co-op rifts, uh, which we haven't co opted in a while. Uh, we have Lightbringer Duration, so that your Chaos Bringer lasts even longer. You have Soul Burst, or you, I say you, me. I have Soul Burst MP Recovery, so that I recover even more max MP when I Soul Burst. And then I have Increased MP Limit Boost Rate, so that I recover even more max MP during a Soul Burst, or after a Soul Burst. And then I have Buff Duration, so that I don't have to reapply buffs as often. For my allies, I have the... Uh, the graceful, uh, a wonderful Adele Dazim on the Sage, where she is stacked up with intellect, and she is sharing 12% of her stats with me, thanks to Liberator 600%. Uh, even though it does not show on the UI, she's, she is giving me those stats, as long as she's alive. And how she stays alive is through the Lionheart accessory. Uh, when you press the D-pad left or right or press R or T on your keyboard, uh, this is going to make your allies use Resonance, which is like their version of Lightbringer. And uh, Invincible, while she's in her Resonance form, or Lightbringer equivalent, she's not taking any HP damage for 20 to 50 seconds based on that Lightbringer duration. So... She is a living stat stick at this point. Um, as cruel as that sounds, and I say that over again, the uh, way we try to squeeze more intellect out of her is by stacking a crap load of Sage job affinity past like 800% and beyond, as well as Black Mage job affinity, trying to squeeze that intellect out of that Sage job, uh, where a job like Breaker does not get very much intellect, as well as Dragoon, they don't get very much intellect. As you can see on the right side of the screen, only Black Mage is the only other job that gets as much intellect as Sage, with all of this stuff stacked up. Now on her gear, she has Lightbringer Duration, so that her uh, Lion Heart lasts longer. She has Intellect to share more Intellect. She has Spirit to share that with me too, because Spirit also helps out with accumulating the status ailments on the enemy. So when I cast my Thunder, that the uh, Thunder vulnerability or Lightning vulnerability ends up on the enemy a little bit sooner thanks to the Spirit, uh, as well as the the damage that I do. That just that helps too. So. When I say the damage I do, I mean like the intellect um, side of it. Like, oh, you do a lot of lightning damage, so thunder is going to accumulate a little faster thanks to that. So the, th uh, the, the, the intellect and the spirit are both helping, but mo uh, the, more the spirit. And then I have Remu across her gear because Remu brings out more intellect and then secondary spirit. And so, uh, pretty much across her gear, that's that. And, and you don't actually have to do the top two things, like the Damage Delt Magic Sigil or MB Cost Magic Sigil or Charge Time Magic Sigil, uh, Charge Time Reduction. But I, I do have that on there just because she was out often enough, and sometimes she casts the Ultima and just makes it hard for me to see what's going on. 
Sophia. And then uh, second job is either Ash on Tyrant or uh, Jed as a ninja. Uh, the ninja would serve me better in this case because I get the extra agility. So I am going to swap out for ninja because I, I kind of want that agility. Even though my barrage is going to be weak anyway, it just it just a little bit like Jed sharing some of that agility with me, like 80 or 70 or something like that. So we have some trials on just to make things uncomfortable. And as much as we should just do uh, our favorite Tiamat, it's not fair because we're going to hurt her too bad. So we're going to do uh, our, our three bosses just to just see a little bit of pressure going on there. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. And as much as we should charge up, our goal here is that we're going to use Chaos Bringer. We're going to do Teleport. Oh, I'm sorry. Lunatic, Teleport, trying to get our defenses up first. Uh, I'm going to just do Barrage just because I happen to have the flow going here. Instead of, uh, even though Barrage has a short duration, so I should wait later to do that. And then I'm going to use the Focus or Supercharge. And I might not go all the way to 4 just because of time. Uh, during Chaos Bringer, but ideally I would chain cancel my way up to max MP while I'm on the world map But we're, we're gonna try to risk it uh, And then while you're on the red mage, we're going to do a haste and Then start uh, we're just gonna keep pressing the button So we're gonna try to haste and then we're gonna try to lock on to the enemy and start casting thunders and mostly we're doing thunders just because the animation plays not the animation but the uh, the spell is it doesn't require line of sight and it happens a bit more instantly compared to a fire or a blizzard a uh, blizzard has a bit of a delay before it hits the enemy and fire has to hit the enemy uh so enemies that are charging towards you uh fire is the way to go uh, versus enemies that are further away from you. Lightning doesn't care about how far it travels. The enemy doesn't doesn't have too much time to dodge side from side. Um, that sort of thing. So we're going to try to do this all together. Uh, did I say that we have our trials on? We have uncomfortable trials on. Don't do this. This was just a demonstration, but don't actually do it this high. And then we're going to chain cancel in the middle of all this with the supercharge at the end here. And then try to get D-pad left and right, get a haste going, and then start casting before anybody is even spawning. Uh, as crazy as that looked. I know, it's like, wait, how do you have so many fingers to do all this? And make her regret going against us like that. Uh, now, we get ready for... Our friend. Ow. How many times is Sophia going to get hit? I feel like that's going to hurt her in the long run. But. And then even before the enemy spawns. Whoops. Oh, shoot. Wrong job. Oh, my shoots. Oh well, let's do this anyway. Yeah! Yeah! Let's see if the, uh, oh, did it stay on? No, it goes away. So we finished the boss, we walked so slow. Uh, this time we might wait a little bit because we want the Chaos Bringer to be fresh. We want it to be oh, we forgot to use Interception. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I'm running out of MP. Whoops. What am I doing? Uh, 
And this is how it could kind of go. Um, now, let's talk about the Rift Monsters because... Wait, do I have the wrong... Okay. Phew. Sorry, I thought I had like some other job title here that would have been like sucked. Spin, uh. spin, 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 spin. Oh, shoot. Oh, not feeling too well. Um, and then, uh, let's see here. So in the Rift, we try to go for intellect monsters. And might as well do Behemoth for the damage dealt to bosses and to some extent the stat bonus. Sorry, let me just pull this up. So in the Rift, we're going to use the Horse and the Flying Eyeball for the Intellect. Bonus if you have the Black Mage and Mage leveled up uh, a little bit with the magic damage dealt. For the Ariman, for the Intellect. Bonus if you have Sage and Void Knight leveled up. Uh, also, the During Lightbringer damage dealt. The uh, the Behemoth for the uh, damage dealt to bosses. And then, to s some extent, the Combo Ability stat bonus. And then, for now, we have the Bomb to help out with the damage dealt to bosses. And Coral, we have, uh, we have her out for the Spirit and also the Increase monster quest efficiency uh if you're not using chaos bringer the tyrant route is uh, the tyrant helps even a lot more uh, but with without um with chaos bringer the tyrant is helping through the 120 percent so that you accumulate the status ailment a little bit faster now on these rifts um, i'm looking for one that has a boss and uh, i don't want to do too many bosses but i think we see one here for five and uh, yeah, we're, we're still on this floor. So ideally, I would drink a Mega Ether and get going. Uh, and that way, I start off with more max MP. I am going to risk it. First, I'm going to look at how much max, I'm sorry, intellect I have. So almost 1,200 intellect while I'm in the Rift at this point. And then I have uh, Jed and Sophia sharing roughly 2,000, I'm sorry, 2,000 times... 12%, I, it's like 240. So I'm, I'm getting an extra 240 intellect here on top of the intellect I do have. Now, ideally, uh, in order to make sure this goes smooth, I should absolutely drink a high ether before I go into the rift or a mega ether before I go into the rift. But I'm, I'm just going to kind of show on the Chaos Springer route how you could just, we'll call it in a pinch, get started. Uh, th there are some exceptions to this, but uh, I'm going to go in Chaos Bringer, get my defenses up first. And he's... Whoa! This guy is a jerk, and we don't like him. He's also one of the more dangerous bosses for us. <laughs> uh, Chaos Tiamat and Death Machine among the other two. Get away from us, you jerk. Oh! We did! But this is why we have Phoenix. Are you seriously coming after me? Oops. Oh, shoot! I'm gonna try to fight you with my sword. Ah, darn it. <laughs> okay, I need to get serious here. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. He's one of the more dangerous bosses for us. <laughs> you jerk. Yeah, I also made a stupid move. I should have had interception up. Um, let's get our, all of our buffs up. And I hope that we don't fight a certain other dude here. Oh, BK, you poor dude.
and only because our max MP is already up. We don't have to worry about soul bursting with the correct job. But we are still going to buff up. Oh no! Sorry, this guy's weak to lightning and he has like two hit spots on his face. Or hit boxes. Whoops. So, Chaos Kraken, if you let him run free, he is an absolute nightmare. Uh, okay. Uh, sometimes we ink ENV and hope that it stays on between phase changes. Uh, does it always? Because it depends on the boss. And we could do fire. Like, yay, fire! Oh, shoot! Um, so we just hope that we don't come across a certain uh, Chaos Advent-like boss. Oh crap, we're too close. I think the second phase has less physical defense, but more magic defense. Ow. <laughs> shoot. <laughs> crap. Oh, shoot. Leave me alone. So glass cannon, a little bit riskier. And look at that. Look at that. We only died three times. Four. But yeah. And that's why in the rift, you got your Phoenix Downs to help you out. What kind of build video has someone dying in the build in the video? Just edit it out. Only show the good parts. Don't show your failures. Uh, let's see. So let's uh drink uh, get our mega ethers get our phoenix downs get your potions even though they go away sometimes it's so fun and then you can just pardon me uh pardon me burp twice uh in the rift you can hold your uh, command abilities and go left and right to switch between the items you have and you can drink those mega potion ether eggs all that good stuff but um and that will recover your max mp uh, another thing you could do is eventually you could have the Iron Giant with that max HP reduction. But just sort of the heads up, if you're getting one shot, then uh, if you're getting one shot intentionally, it doesn't matter. If you're getting one shot unintentionally, uh, might want to figure out like a way for it to survive. But that's a whole separate video in itself. Anywho, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, Red Mage stuff, caster thingy, and uh, yeah, hope that helps. Oh my shoot, we're, on, we're under 30 minutes, I can't believe it, how much you show up to